Hello everyone, welcome to the course Corrosion Failures and Analysis. Myself Kalol Mandal, I am a faculty in the Department of Material Science and Engineering, IIT Kanpur. We have already discussed electrochemical nature of corrosion as well as mixed potential theory in our earlier two lectures, Corrosion Part 1 and Corrosion Part 2. In addition, we talked about oxidation, which falls under high temperature corrosion. But in this course, we'll talk about different forms of corrosion and then take examples from different fields and industries such as household, construction, petrochemical, naval structures, medical equipments, as well as implants. And we'll witness that some of those corrosion events in those industries can lead to a severe failure of the structure and we'll try to analyze uh, or do a failure analysis of those events just to give a kind of glimpse of corrosion failures that happen in our day-to-day -day observations like uh, the failure of pillar. So, for example, this is a pillar which is completely fractured, and this this particular concrete pillar holds iron fencing over the roof, and this particular failure happens very quickly within a year or so. And that happens because the iron fencing inside the pillar that corrodes preferentially and since the density of the rust which are nothing but which is nothing but iron oxide or iron hydroxide so densities of those components are much lower than iron and that's what it leads to a hoop stress which finally fractures the concrete. So this is another situation. Now coming to household application corrosion. This is a spatula. What we use for cooking and this kind of iron spatula is used in Indian style cooking, which is also severely corroded. So this is a dough which is also severely corroded and the corrosion part is mainly observed along this part along this part this part because see if you see those sections those are actually a kind of folded sheet metal which are folded along the edges of the door and that folding leads to crevice and since it is experiencing atmospheric effects like moisture, oxygen, rainwater, and also there is crevice, so that's what it's corroded heavily around along that edge of the door. Now we have another corrosion event which is experienced in iron locks. Iron locks, if you see this part, which is the part where the key is inserted, that is also a crevice, and that's what it experiences more corrosion compared to the other part of the lock. Then, bicycle, the handle of a bicycle, if you see this section, which is crevice, this section, which is crevice, this section, which is crevice. Wherever you have crevice or the bent portion, we have experienced higher corrosion. Now, the last example, what I will show, if you see this particular section, this particular section, 
so it's basically iron grid which is placed over the top of window ac and just below the iron grid if you see those fins of the iron window ac the center part is completely out this happened because the gardener used to put a small packet of fertilizer on top of that window ac and since fertilizer is highly corrosive it corroded that section where it is placed and we will try to understand this particular corrosion even later but this actually made a hole on hole to that particular window ac and this iron grid is placed on top of the hole just to avoid materials falling into the ac so this is another uh, uh, serious forms of corrosion that happens because of accidental placing of fertilizer bag on top of that window ac i have just taken some of the pictures these are all clicked by me and these are around iit campus so hence we could see that we had to meticulously observe the corrosion event try to understand why that corrosion takes place and then get an idea of overall picture and in addition to that we have to finally think about protection route so that's what this particular course will also talk about possible protection philosophies on the basis of changing materials or making modification to the materials change in environment change in design of the components without changing any of those materials compositions or material properties or change in environment by simply design modification we can control the corrosion event to a great extent then we'll talk about electrochemical methods of corrosion protection those are mainly cathodic protection as well as anodic protection we'll talk about coatings which is an excellent way to protect metals and alloys from corrosion and then finally we'll talk about effect of inhibitors which are organic or inorganic substances added to the electrolyte to prevent or to control corrosion so finally again welcome to the corrosion failures and analysis course and hope will enjoy this course thank you